Hi, I'm Mahesh Troponitara, or Troponitara in my native tongue. I'm a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering here at the University of Waterloo. And at the moment, I serve also as the Associate Chair for Undergraduate Studies for my department. Most of my work has been in authorization and access control, which is a sub-branch of information security. Authorization is an articulation, a statement, as to whether an active entity, such as a human or a computer process, is allowed to exercise a certain action on a resource. As an example, we can think of this building as a resource. And there may be a question as to whether I, as an individual, am allowed to enter this building. Access control is the mechanism by which we enforce these authorizations. The fact that not everyone who's authenticated is necessarily allowed to exercise anything they want on the resource, that's authorization and access control. You know, in any sort of multi-user system, as I call it, this sort of security subsystem is present. So uh, as an example, the web browser, when it started off, the idea was quite simple. You have a single software client that is used to access all these documents. But today, the web browser is one of the most complex pieces of software out there. The access control authorization problem is very real in the web browser context. But for example, with a lot of the code complexity moving to the client as opposed to the server, the underlying technologies have had to move. So the, the question as to how you articulate authorization, how you carry out the analysis and, and various other problems. For example, how do you even infer a policy that's deployed because nobody has written it down as to what exactly the policy is. All of these are present in the web context. So as a simple example, uh, you had cloud, public cloud technologies evolve in the last, let's say, decade. They have invented, reinvented languages for authorization access control. Let's say that I want to migrate my cloud resources from AWS to Google. Okay, now I want to take my authorization policies from AWS and then replicate them in Google. Is that even possible? Does it have the expressive power to capture uh, what I've articulated in AWS. We don't know the answer to that question. I have a partial answer to that question, thanks to my research. But to my knowledge, there is no work out there on that. Follow your gut. If you sense that something is amiss, follow that gut, is what I would say. Listen to it. Do not assume that the internet is any less dangerous than, for example, a dark alleyway you know, in a bad neighborhood physically. So to me, really one should complement any preventive steps that one takes with detection and response. For example, keep an eye on your credit card accounts. Similarly, the bank accounts, right? Take a look at what's going on. These days, you know, credit card companies give us ready-made, ready access to what's happening with our accounts. This is in some ways turning the easy access on its head to our benefit. Hopefully one's identity does not get stolen, but you really want to know as soon as you can if it has been. So that's where the detection piece comes in. So this would be the two pieces.